It's only been around since 1980, but Mountaineer Field in Morgantown has already developed a reputation for being one of the rowdiest places in college football. Houston lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 21. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Let's go. Huh? They go to the ground game. He's out to the 30. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, West Virginia. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. He makes the PAT. Brown looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Fakes the handoff, and he's in trouble. And they make the stop at the 38. Number eight makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. He's hit and taken down. He might want to keep that ball because it marks his 1,000th yard receiving this season, and that is really special. No disrespect to the receiver. I mean, 1,000 yards is an incredible number no matter what. But don't forget about the quarterback who's been throwing the football and making great throws all year. A lot of credit should go to him. It's second and one. Ball on the 47. Richardson gets a handoff to the right. Nice run, and he's brought down. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down at the five-yard line. That's I like how efficient the offense play. looked on that play. Everybody that knew their assignment, goal. and it all came together for a nice run. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. They put everyone up on the line. He gets sacked on the play. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. That brings up a second and goal. Hey. 
Ball on the 13-yard line. Nearly intercepted. Wilson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Houston gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. They'll take over at the 21. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. Makes it to the 34. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Great concentration. They pick up a good six yards there. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ready. Cut. Childress on the option right. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. Clayton gains around three yards on the run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Over the middle to his tailback. He's at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. This is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. And he tacks on the extra point. Brown ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Gets to about the 17-yard line. They'll start at the 17-yard line. On the ground, inside. Nice run up the middle. Richardson picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. They go option right. 
Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Brought down at the 35-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Around the 47-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Again with the run. Gets out to around the 38. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Looks to pass. He's going to go for the home run. Swatted away. It can be really difficult to guard these long passes because you got to keep up with the receiver, make sure you don't run over him, and look out for the ball. That was not an easy play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And it's going to be hard even to hear the snap count. This place is hopping. Nearly intercepted. Well, if you missed a long field goal try, you give your opponent great field position. Punting would allow you to pin them deep and rely on the defense. So they're going to go for it here. Bounds at the 35. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Around the 36 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 36 yard line. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers third down now and they need to get it to the 25 this place is getting loud and he might change the play here before the snap taken down right around the 14 yard line a tight end that has this young man's skills is a real weapon for any offense he can catch the ball create mismatches and force a defense to pay attention to him From the 14-yard line, first down. He 
he's tackled around the 11 yard line. From the 11 yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the three. Gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. Gives it to the back, and he's level at the one. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Talk about scoring. A huge first quarter by both teams. The Mountaineers with a touchdown lead. We've got second and goal. About a yard to Pater. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. He's in. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. Clayton gets set to kick this one away. And this is just a booming kick. He's to the 10. And he's tackled at the 23. The offense will start at the 23-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. Inside the 30. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Wow, how about that call to the tight end? Big payoff. Well, the offensive coordinator has wanted to incorporate this young player into their passing attack, and he couldn't have picked a better time to get him the ball. He makes the PAT. West Virginia kicked this one off. He boots it deep downfield. He's to the 10. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's tackled at the 33. Gain 15 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Let's go. Blue Knight. Hush. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Wilson is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Hush. 
Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. This place is rocking. Aaron and out long. No, incomplete. is the punter. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, first down. West Virginia up seven points. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is at some point you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. the 30 to the 20 the 10 touchdown West Virginia he's rung up three touchdown tosses in the half defense better make some adjustments and they need to make them now because this passing attack is making a highlight film right now and he converts the extra point the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he got all of that one he's to the 10 and down he goes at the 20 They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Lawson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Ready. Blue 90. Blue 90. He'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. He's going to air it long. Makes the catch and look out. To the 10. Touchdown, Houston. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And he adds the extra point. Clayton is lined up to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. He's to the 10. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. 
And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning when they started to get a little bit fatigued. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. West Virginia is up by a touchdown. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Dumps it incomplete. Wanted the screen. Clayton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Frazier awaiting the return. Gets it away. It's low. And he muffed it. That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. tackle at the 12-yard line. The defense were playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. They line up at the 12. Second down. Nice run there. Richardson picks up five with the carry. Third down. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. So this crowd is making their presence felt. He drops back, throws it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 46. They'll go to work at the 46-yard line. West Virginia is up seven. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. The intended receiver on play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They'll run the option. Tackle at about the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their 
from the 43-yard line. It's first down. Cut. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 32. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 32-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 34-yard line. Back to pass. Across the middle, tight end's got it. And for Dickerson, he scores his second catch for six. And a great awareness by the quarterback to get him the ball and pick up six points. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The offense will take over at the 22. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Tackle made at the 19. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Taken down at the 22-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. And he hits him hard at the 16. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it 37. From the 16 yard line, third down. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. play and it's going to be first and goal he's at 100 yards rushing for the day and the and linemen are doing a great job of keeping the initial tacklers away and getting a good downfield push i know that's helped him a lot today it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line d Childress on the option right. They'll bring him down at the seventh. They're at the seventh. Second down. They're crowding the line. Slings it. Touchdown, Mountaineers. He's on the receiving end for another score. 
Man, this running back has really helped his passing game. Every time he's on the field, it's like having another receiver out there. And he hits the PAT. West Virginia to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. He makes it to the 15-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 15. He chucks it downfield. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Here's the option. Laterals back. Makes it to the 31. Gain of 16 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 31. They're calling an audible. Going long. And it's caught. Touchdown. Huge play. And for Browning, he's been responsible for three scoring passes. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. He makes the PAT. Houston lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. The ball pops free. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. West Virginia's in front by 14. We're kicking off now to start the second half, and we got a shootout on our hands here. There's been a lot of scoring, and you have to think whichever defense strings a couple of stops together could get the advantage in this one. He's tackled at the 21. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Hot. 
Here's the option, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. So they pick up the first down there. It was about a two-yard gain on the play. Yeah, they didn't get much, but regardless of the yardage, the chain gang is still moving down the field. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Browning gets the ball. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a gain of 21 on the play. First down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 47. Ready, and he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. And he is drilled at the 49. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it fourth and 12. It's fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Mountaineers don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. <laughs> Throws into coverage, just picked off. And he's level at the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Here we go. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Check, check. 200 check. 200 check. Huh? And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Burns takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 38-yard line. That'll bring up 36. From their own 38-yard line, third down. And he snags that one. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Down the sideline. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Ready, cut. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and 10. From the 14-yard line, 
Second down. Option takes it up the middle for a nice run. Clayton picks up about four yards on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. West Virginia gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. Tackle made at the 17-yard line. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. From their own 17-yard line. It's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Richardson picks up about four yards on the misdirection handoff. From their own 21-yard line, it's third down. This place is getting loud. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Punt. Oh, excellent punt. And he muffed it. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. They'll start at the 31. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Childress options out to the left. Nice run, and he's brought down. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Ready. Cut. He's taken down at the 43. Short gain there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. Well, the defense closed in on him pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. Ready. 
give to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll bring up third and eight. That's three down and one to go. West Virginia's lead is 17. And here's another third down. Harris takes it left. And he shoved out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 35. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gets to about the 24-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Here comes the screen, and they can't connect. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Second and 10. Ball on the 24. Feeds it to the back. Gets out to about the 21. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That'll make it fourth and six. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and he got it. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. West Virginia is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10, and he's tackled at the 14-yard line. When the ball is boomed that deep into the end zone, it gives the coverage team time to get down the field. You've been better off taking the touchback. They'll start this drive at the 14. Looks to pass. He sails it long. At the 30. And he hauls it in deep downfield. To the 20. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he hits the PAT. Over five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And the score is West Virginia, 48, Houston, 35. 
Clayton has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Makes his way to about the 42. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Him hard at the 40. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 40 yard line, second down. Childress running the option. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 33 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 33. Tackled at about the 35. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 35 yard line. Ready, cut. Here's an option, right side. And down he goes at the 32. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. And they make the stop at the 31 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up fourth and seven. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So our score, West Virginia, 51, Houston, 35. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. Oh, man, he took him down hard. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Works the middle, he's got his tailback. Inside the 30, the 10. He scores, what a play. 
And for Browning, he just continues to impress with what is now his fifth touchdown pass today. He's got great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. He makes the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is West Virginia 51, Houston 42. They get ready to kick this one off, and the return team's looking for the onside. He kicks a low-line drive. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. drop him for a loss. Houston's going to use their first time out of the half here. Third down. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 37. Back to pass. He's going to try and scramble. He's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked. And for Quinn, that's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Frazier, back to return it. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Time's running out now as the offense comes back out. Well, the clock is not on their side right now. They just need to hope that they can get a very quick score here and then hope for the best. The offense will start at the 29. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he is drilled at the 42. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. Looks like he might audible out of that play. He's tackled in the open field. The Cougars use their second timeout. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They're changing the play. He drops back. He wants it all. Almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's changing things up. 
The crowd at a fever pitch right now. Third and short. They'll throw for the first. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. We have less than a minute to go. On the ground with the tailback. He steps out at the 41-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. From the 41-yard line, first down. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Drops back on first down. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. This has been a very impressive showing. He's got 500 yards passing. He's been making great decisions all day. He's got over 500 yards passing today. Very good arm to go with outstanding decision-making. Gets it out quickly. Touchdown, Houston! So they cut the lead to three, but again, this is just too little, too late. Yeah, it's always hard to come back when you're scraping for seconds at the end of the game. And he converts the extra point. Houston lines up with their hands team on the field. Now, if they don't get the ball, then this one's in the books. Down on the scoreboard, but still a chance here late in the fourth quarter. Second and 12. Ball on their own 43. He's taken down at the 41. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First the Mountaineers are going to call their second timeout. the 28. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Houston's called their final timeout. This is the type of kick that puts you on the map. If you miss, 
you're just another kicker. If you make it, you're praised forever. And they're going to take a time out here and let him think about it. So the kicker's on the field, and this kick is for the game. The kick is up. And he got it! Game over! And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. The kicking team has their hands team on the field, but the return team doesn't. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, Houston 52, West Virginia 51.